to your friend Joe. Did you ever of your customers? Level is $25,000 and that's your pyramid. Five questions. I didn't talk you out of it, huh? No, I'm good. Are you an outgoing person? Yeah. Pretty secure, confident? Sure. For the most part, yeah. Question seven. Have you ever canceled plans to go out because you felt insecure about your weight? Um. Yes. That answer is true. On your way to $25,000, here's question eight. Have you ever been hospitalized for an eating disorder? It's a very personal question. The answer is yes. That answer is true. I understand you have a boyfriend. Why isn't he here? He is actually, well, we're business partners, so he's taking care of business. Yeah? What kind of business? We're ticket brokers, so. Question nine. Have you ever suspected your boyfriend of cheating on you? Um, the answer is yes. That answer is true. There's nine truthful answers for you. Getting very close to that $25,000. Uh, you suspected him of cheating on you. Did you have reason to suspect him or were you just nervous because you were away from each other? You know, I've experienced that most men do cheat. Your dad's here, your beautiful sister is here, and your really good friend, Joe. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's great when you see a girl who has a guy, good friend. Right. Is that difficult at all? No jealousy from your boyfriend about that? Oh, no. No? He totally trusts me. He knows me. It's, it's no. He's a good looking guy, though. He is. Yeah. yeah. How long have you two known one another? God, like 15 years, right? 14, 15 years. 14, right 15 there. years. Long what time. What do you like best about her? She's, she's just great in every way. She's, she's beautiful. Hey. And she's always been there for me as much as I've been there for her. So. Aww. That's good friendship. <laughs> it is, yeah, definitely. Question 10. Have you ever to your friend Joe? Christina Polino is a 25-year-old former flight attendant from Chicago, Illinois. She runs a ticket brokerage with her boyfriend. They have been in a relationship for three years. The answer is yes. That answer is true. One more, $25,000. Have you ever been attracted to, to Christina? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. <sighs> Joe, what do you do for a living? I'm an audio technician and a musician. You're a musician, too. Yes. What do you play? I play guitar. And uh, have you heard him play? Yeah, he's great. He's great. He's great. You would know you're in the ticket broker business. You've seen, I would imagine you've seen every rock star there is. Right. So you, you would know. One more question, and you win $25,000. Go right ahead. It's okay. Okay. I'm not asking question 11. It's coming from someone else. You still want to hear it? Yeah, of course. Now I'm excited. The next question is going to be asked by your very good platonic musician friend, Joe. Joe, when you're ready, question 11. Christina. 
Do you think I have what it takes to make it as a professional musician? It's a tough question, isn't it? <clears throat> yes, it is. For $25,000, what is your answer to this question? My answer is no. That answer is true. $25,000 is yours, but Joe, your dear friend of 15 years, just said she doesn't think you have what it takes to be a professional musician. Is that a surprise to you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Four <laughs> questions to get you $100,000. Do you want Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we will. Question 12. Do you think your father made the right choice when he left your mother? I think everyone in my family knows this answer. Uh, no. You think the answer is no? No. I know I do not think he made the right choice. That answer is... True. Okay. You're on your way. Three more, you get to $100,000. This is the choice that you made. You knew we were going to go here. Right. John, she says everybody in the family knows that you made the wrong choice. That includes me. Is it hard to hear that? It's the real world, Mark. Question 13. Do you blame your father for ruining your childhood? Talk about it and explain it a little bit. Um, you know, that was a really hard time for me, and I felt like, you know, he did make some bad decisions, and um, at that time, and so there, there was some feelings of blame. This is a personal question. You ready? Go ahead. Question fourteen. Do you believe your father is trustworthy? So, the question is, do you believe your father is trustworthy? No. That answer is... true. That's 14 truthful questions. There are people watching right now saying, how could you talk about that on national television? I say that because you have one more question to get to $100,000, and these past two questions were... Hard. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> really hard. They were really, they were really hard. Very personal and emotional. Right. Here's your $100,000 moment of truth. <sighs> question 15. Would you be happy to marry a man who is just like your father? is true.
I hope these questions are worth it. $100,000 is a lot of money. John, I, I'm putting myself in your seat because we're both dads of daughters. And I wonder how I would feel having heard my daughter say that. Um, how do you feel? Well, there's nobody perfect. And uh, I have some imperfections. And uh, it's understandable. Everybody's looking for the perfect guy, for the perfect woman, but uh, you don't always find it. For better or for worse, but I hope for better, you have won $100,000. You're at $100,000. The next level is twice as much money, $200,000. And you only have to answer three questions to get there. So, it only takes one mistake and you lose the money. I'm going to take the money. Congratulations. That's $100,000. It is yours.